Hello, welcome to Hearts of Iron 4 with Random Country Placement Mod. This is a mod that is fun if you want border gore. And uh, if you want a little bit of chaos, but not as much as last time. Last time it was a bit too much for our, uh, for our health. <laughs> now I have played this earlier. I was uh, testing a gout as Japan. And we're still gonna play as the anime loving war criminals that we know as Japan. All right. Oh my God. No, no. No! <laughs> How do you expect me to do- I'm sorry guys, I'm not- I'm not that much of a masochist to want to play an island when other countries look like this. Now because Japan gave me a shitty, uh, shitty location, we're gonna try China. What's the worst that can happen, right? Okay. Alright, that's major, dude. We got a plane! I don't have a destroyer! Oh no. Oh no. We're surrounded by much bigger co CM. Do we have more land somewhere else? <laughs> oh, we do. I wish our capital was actually I'm kind of glad it's not there. What's the rest of the world? Oh my Jesus. Why are they so big? Dude, Britain is everywhere. It's like a cancer, dude. It's there. There and there. Now, because we're democratic, we're not even gonna be able to declare war for for a while, actually. So, uh, we're gonna go for quality over quantity because um, well, we have the time to build up our army. Oh, that is. I'm sorry, Mr. Thunder Dragon, but you're gonna have to go. You're a little close for my liking. Oh yeah, Revolutionary Democratic Union of Afar is communist with no elections. I don't think the democratic part works for you, buddy. Division-wise, we have paratroopers. That's cool. But we're just gonna stick with the infantry. Okay, we need to rename our infantry. This is boring, right? So this is gonna be my main infantry. So I, I need to call it something I like. The wide boys. I have a plan for these men. I have a plan. And I have a very, very good vision for, uh, for what I'm gonna do with the wide boys. Hint. I'm gonna be going down mass assault. <laughs> Wait a minute. We get better war bombers. Oh, that's major, dude. Right. For some reason, I always end up going communist, so we're gonna go fascist this time, baby. But mainly for uh, for that extra recruitability. I mean, that's an extra seven percent I get. Like, it, it, that's huge. Oh no, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> God damn it. I just lost 50. Why? I want my PP back. The thing is with this mod, you really don't want to take too long prepping because it could really bite you in the ass. So what we're gonna do is just fire claim first. Try and take him out, get some more land. Cause I've I've played a few matches already and what ends up ends up happening is the first person to pump out the Why am I not making divisions? Okay. The first person to pump out divisions ends up winning the first war they have. But after the sec the first one, it, it, it's really difficult to push anyone else because they all have similar amounts of divisions. And because the random, uh, random technology, some of them spawn with like artillery in their divisions. Like they'll put artillery in their divisions because they could make that. We don't have it because we're broke boys. Oh, you boys don't look very Chinese. I'm gonna be honest. Dong. Oh, hell yeah, his name's Dong. We got Dong, baby. We'll go for Mao. Might be a descendant of a... Uh, might be a descendant of a... Uh, <laughs> of, of a different Mao. We should probably take out CM as well. I mean, this is just like a... It's like a little cancer in my country. Not only... Not only that. Because of him, I'm so reliant on one railway. Another Dong. Two Dongs. Yes. Sorry, Dong, but... <laughs> You're getting replaced, buddy. Now, I would put Dong in charge, but I have a feeling we might get another better Dong. And let's be honest, who doesn't want a better Dong, eh? Where are my Dong? What a fuck. <laughs> 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 a 
His name is Madong. Oh, I love it. My favorite general I've ever heard of. Madong. Absolute legend. Oh, a roaring economy, baby. Are you sure about that? Okay, it's 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 not really roaring, but I mean it's getting there. Alright, it's getting there, boys. Have some faith. Alright. We got an autosave just in case. How are you pushing that? Doesn't matter, it's green. It's green. That's all that matters, boys. All that matters is that it stays green. Okay, they are not going well. I'm literally gonna have to micro this entire front. Oh, finally I've made a breakthrough and I'm, uh, I'm pushing in. It's a lot of green, so I'm hoping that uh, the green stays. Oh damn, look at that push we did. Jesus. I blinked. And we're already, we've already cleared the northern part. This is, this is amazing. Who else are we, uh, are, are we at war with? Oh my god. No. No! I need to go across all the way there. You're losing, like, your entire army. No. That China is gonna have to go. Wow, that China is huge. We can't have two Chinas next to each other. It just doesn't work, buddy. You're gonna- you're, you're going next. First, I need to take out the Thunder Dragon. Okay, uh, while we wait for- for some of this stuff to, uh, to go through, I- I wanted to chit-chat with you guys. Uh, this video is not gonna be uploaded on the day of recording. Uh, primary reason being, I had a lot of, uh, unexpected meetings that I had to attend to. Uh, meaning I- I just- don't have the time to edit tonight, but uh, I'm editing it in the morning, so I am hoping that I, I, I could get it published tomorrow, which is a Tuesday, which, I mean, I know it sucks, I haven't recorded it, like, not recorded, but I haven't uploaded anything, and by Tuesday, it gotta be four days, and I do apologize for that. That's, that's about it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, is it even a good idea to attack them? Probably not, considering all the mountains they're in. Oh my god. Yeah, no, probably not a good idea. They don't have as many troops as I do, but they have artillery and everything in there. Look at that. Artillery. A lot of artillery, actually. We got anti-tank, which isn't a problem for us. We got a... I mean, good lord, that is a thick thick division but there's nothing we could really do about it we gotta take them out boys we gotta what's the losses looking like 71,000 okay they take whoa look at that Jesus Whew. wow that was a fast push they stopped it but good lord we got far did you see that shit holy I I am blown away good lord Look at that, we split them. We split them, boys. We should probably deal with this real quick. Actually, I'm gonna be honest, I think it's going better than I even expected. No, my dong is ill. Oh, look at that, they actually had a navy, hell yeah. Let's go pirate that shit. Well, navy. It's there. Oh, that's their navy. 45 destroyers, holy. All right, our infantry is now slightly thicker than it used to be. Wait, no, I messed up. I just realized. No, I didn't go for the one I wanted to go for. I went for superior firepower. No. Damn it. I don't goof. It's more of like a instinctual thing. I always go for spear of firepower unless I'm playing like Germany or Russia. So then I'll go for this, but like... God damn it. Oh, Jesus. That's... that's a lot of enemies. But, actually, listen. It looks like a lot. And now, boom. It doesn't look like a lot. You just gotta shrink your perspective 
to something manageable and ignore everything else, whether it's threatening to you or not. It works every time, boys, I'm telling you. Yeah, attack is at 50%. It's full on mountains, so they'll be fine. As for China, no guarantees, boys, no guarantees. But you gotta go. Oh Jesus, I've been so concentrated on this little thing here, trying to micro that out, that we basically wiped out the Romanians. Completely, like, do they have land anywhere else? No, they don't, they're done. <laughs> You're done for, Mike. You're done for. China's being a bit more of a, bit more of a nuisance, but, you know, when isn't China being a nuisance? Right, well, I've hit a little bit of a stalemate up here because my forces are simply outnumbered. Maybe if I could bring these over to there, it won't be too bad, but we will have to wait and see. Hey, there you go. Right, they capitulated, but they're still here, so it's... It's like a fake capitulation. I'm not a big fan of these. Oh my god, look, it's Dunkirk all over again. Except this time, they got surrounded, and uh, Britain's not getting out of this one. All right, here we go, boys. Final push. Look at that. That's like, what was it? Like 35 divisions that are about to get wiped? Should have just left you at the port, man. You had the port. Oh, Jesus. Okay. <clears throat> Red squad. You got that, boys. You got it. Right there. Yep. Please. Thank you. In fact, uh, can you go like full speed? Full speed ahead, please. Why is this so difficult to get? I don't understand. It's at 98. Just die. Die. Please. 99. Come on. What the fuck? Okay, it's going back up. It's going back up. Come on. A few moments later. God damn it. We were at 99. Oh, hell yeah. I'm out of guns, am I? I'm really out of guns. How, wait, how am I being attacked through the wall? No, you can't do that. How's, uh, how's the Yunnan doing? They're still alive. What? That's kind of crazy when you really think about it. Yunnan is like a tiny country, right? Well, what was their core land? Oh wait, that was their core land. Oh wow, they're actually doing pretty, pretty poorly, all things considered. Inferior enemy by 44%. As soon as I click start, they all of a sudden become like, I don't even know, Germany in 1939. It's crazy how strong the, the, the AI is. Oh yeah, what happened to that superiority, huh? What happened to that superiority? God damn it. Not a very inferior enemy I can see, huh? Yeah, you know what guys, I'm sorry, but this this World War One era BS is really demoralizing. Uh, this is this is just cancer. If you're non, right? If your non can manage to hold off all of this, then god damn it, you know there's a problem with a mod. The amount of troops that people can pump out so easily. I have two million spare manpower, unlimited conscription, god damn it. Two million! I, I just, even with this, it's crazy. Like, granted, yes, I have all of this land, but it's not like that's core land. It's just the Great War mod. Doesn't feel like World War One, like this. I have been at the same border positions, trying to outflank, trying to like do anything. And it's 1944. I think it was 1942 when I even got to this bloody position. I don't even know what to do. Like, I could navally invade, but again, I don't have to spare manpower. Well, I have to spare manpower, I don't have to spare guns or anything. Whether I want to or not, I do need to finish the video up. The recordings are really long, so it does take a lot longer to, to edit these videos than it does to edit any of my horror content. And I do want to upload a horror, a horror video today. Or at least get it done today and ready for tomorrow. Uh, just to make up for the uh, the four, three or four days of zero content. 
for you guys. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, we didn't achieve what we wanted, which was total European domination. All of Europe under China. <laughs> that's, a, that's a sentence and a half. Either way, if you enjoyed the video, fantastic. You might as well leave a like. Might as well sub, you'd be pretty cool for doing so. Yeah, you might as well still sub because you might like my next video. But yeah, that's about it. See ya.